Welcome back everyone to episode 17 of Red Sending with Steve and indeed the last episode of season 1 of Red Sending with Steve and I'll go more over this at the end of the episode but it is indeed the last episode of season 1 so I thought I'd go over some... I'm just getting my things here <laughs> I thought I'd go over something that uh, a lot of people are building their worlds and just basically piston elevators and to a lesser extent piston conveyors. So we're going to go over those today. Uh, I know I kind of already went over it uh, when I did the redstone sequencing video but I wanted to cover it in a bit more detail and also cover some other varieties of it. So let's get started. So we're going to start off with a piston elevator here and this elevator is uh, one of the first kind of piston elevators that was kind of popularized out there and it was of course by by the master himself Etho and it is the spiral uh, piston elevator and it's very very easy to build and we actually need stairs what type of stairs um, sandstone <laughs> not for any particular reason and the uh, only hard part of building this is that <laughs> it's hard to place the blocks of anything and basically what you want to do is you want to go to the level you want to be pushed off at and the piston should be at your head level so we're, we're going to get pushed up here and another piston at our head level uh, so on and so forth so I'll quickly do that so now the elevator is hooked up, wired up, built everything. Uh, so if I can get in, I'll just knock this out for the time being. You can see, and yes, I know I had this piston in the wrong spot. It is now moved. Um, you can see the setup here, and you can see how the redstone kind of spirals up. And I, of course, I went over this in my sequencing video, and it's the fact that the red the redstone power comes up through here from the pressure plate powers our first piston this signal from the first piston gets carried up to power the second piston which gets carried up to power the third so on and so forth so this is an infinite elevator it can go as high as sky limit from bedrock to sky limit this will always work never lose redstone power ever so that's the advantage of kind of using the sequencing technique and we're going to chuck this back in here and we're right now going to uh, discover the problem with these elevators and it's because because of a change in of course it's raining because of a change in 1.2 minecraft 1.2 uh, with the way pistons were coded uh, if you're not if you're right up against a delayed piston the piston will not push you it will just go straight through you the piston arm uh, as if you weren't even there so you have to be right in the middle of this pressure plate or the elevator is going to screw up. You're not going to get to the top. So I put a lot of delay here. This is purpose. Usually you'd have about four delay, possibly. Uh, but I've put eight just to give me enough time to try and get in the right position for this. So let's go here. And look at that. We're at the top. Uh, I'm going to show you how this can go wrong. We're going to go right up against this piston. Straight through us. We're going to... Go a little, accidentally go a little bit further. Oh, went <laughs> straight through us again. Uh, we're going to go right over the other edge of it. And you can see that we got pushed through there. And we're still on the pressure plate, which is a bit odd. Uh, we'll go right to the back. Yeah, didn't go through us again. So you can see the issues with it. Uh, I believe looking straight down helps for whatever reason, except in that case. You need to get right to here. And it will work perfectly. So you have to be right in the middle of that pressure plate, or this elevator is not going to push you. Uh, I want to experiment with adjusting the delay of this and just checking if that will help. I don't think it will, uh, but we are redstone redstone scientists after all. That one didn't help. Yep. All right, let's go. All right. And let's try and do... Mm, no, it doesn't seem to help. So, that's the only problem with this design. And, yeah, it's a bit of an issue. And it's just due to the way the pistons are coded. And it's a thing I hope 
will get fixed in the uh, future. So dinner bone, if you're watching this, which is improbable to say the least, uh, this is a thing to fix. Please do. But don't worry guys, it is not all bad news. If you have the extra resources to make sticky pistons and a bit of extra redstone because you have to reach right around the outside, uh, you can make a very nice um, piston elevator that doesn't fail. Much. My god. Alright, if you push right up against it. Yep. So this one is actually the opposite. If you're out here, it will push you off. But if you get right up against the block, it will work 100% of the time. Uh, so that's pretty much it. If you have, just have sticky pistons, you can get an elevator that pushes you most of the time at least. Um, so now we'll move on to another... Well another elevator I guess. So this is the zipper tower popularized by of course Doc M77 and I'm gonna it, it's a very uh, simplistic setup and the wiring is very shoddy you can see repeaters everywhere but it does um, kind of have the the intended purpose I I guess. So oh, and I'm I gotta mention that it's very much slowed down as well and that's because when I tried to differ these by one torture delay I just kept getting stuck in the middle so uh, there is the um, the 1.3 piston glitch but with the way it is it should work um, at least 90% of the time I reckon and you can see one of its failures there worked a couple of times in a row before which is nice and you can see we're at the top and it's very very easy um, all you have to do is go right left right left right left right left right left all the way up the tower uh, interestingly you it, it is also possible to go right left and ignore these bottom bottom ones because these for some reason these act diff a bit differently um, uh, it's because you're not quite on the full block in the middle over on the right of the full block um, as you'll see when I explain this up here. Uh, basically these two push you up. You can also go right, left, and then left, right, right, left, left, right. Uh, I'm not sure if that's any more efficient, but it works. Um, I'm not sure if it would fix the bug I've been having where I keep getting stuck in it. Uh, but an interesting thing to note. Uh, and I'll show it over here. And I've still got it set up from the last test I did with it apparently. Alright, so we're going to start here, we pretty much start anywhere here, and you can see we're not on top of there, but we're down here, and that's the difference that these first two kind of have. Um, and you can see just before, I guess just before I do this, that on every level you can see we've got this side, uh, two torch delayed, on all sides. So just something to note. So we'll go like that, and then we'll activate the second one, and you can see we're not quite on the block here. This one will probably fail. Okay, it's trying to prove me wrong. And that is really, really quick for some reason. Um, basically what happens, it, it's kind of intuitive, I suppose. Because we're over here, we're kind of over on this side of the block. We're not quite in the middle. So when this one actually fires, it kind of... I'm trying, to, <laughs> I'm trying to use my hand to do it, even though you can't really see my hand. Um, it kind of pushes a block to here, so not quite into you. And then this block comes out, and as it's pushing you, it actually pushes you up the slope of that block, and that edge slope pushes you onto the next block. And I've done the wrong leader there. And it's a bit hard to see. I'm not sure. I hope this big delay will work. If it doesn't then and you can see it in pretty much slow motion exactly how it works. Unfortunately for this setup it must be set of 1.3 that it kind of uh, screwed it up and now this setup uh, it, it has a lot of for, for, for one it can't be used on SMP really and it has a lot of issues with um, just not working, just people getting stuck inside it as they go up. Uh, there are ways to get around this, I believe. Uh, I'm not going to quite go into them today because it's... I, I don't really want to confuse anyone, but... Um, 
yeah, yeah, it's that's the reason why people really don't use this design anymore. Uh, what I'm doing here is actually altering one of the delays. So uh, now it doesn't matter about the bottom ones, but now it will go um, from our perspective left, right, and then right, left, I believe. I think. Um, no, it'll go right, left, and then left, right, yes. So right, left, left, right, right, left. And you can see this will still work. Or s should still work. Yep. Yep, and you can see it works exactly the same. Uh, so just an interesting thing to little thing to note there. And now we move on to the conveyors. And... Oh, just a bit of nostalgia here. If, um, any of you guys who remember my channel from way back, way back, start of February probably this year, uh, this was my very, very first invention ever. And uh, it was based off Seth Bling's um, conveyor, and I saw it and I thought, you know what, I can make a better one. Um, I'll, I'll write it first just to show you how it works, provided it does work. There we go and it's very jagged and there is a reason for that it's because of these two torch repeaters here uh, there was a day where you could once put these at one torch but those days are gone, long gone now hopefully they return because I'm getting very annoyed at these bugs um, basically every one of these inventions is hindered by exactly the same bug so come on Mojang fix it uh, basically what happens here when you step on this it has the um, the, uh, the the repeater going into the block underneath this, which will activate this. Next, we'll hit this pressure plate, which will activate this piston. Push us to this block. Then two torches after this piston will push us to here, and then two torches after that, this piston will push us here, and we start the process again. So it's in sets of four pistons. Um, I'll chuck them to one. I believe the first few will work. I'm not sure though. Ah, uh, no, not even. Um, yeah, they used to work. I'm fairly, I'm almost certain you could put one torch repeater there, but alas, we have to make do with the jagged and sometimes not working uh, conveyor now, which is uh, it's because I didn't turn that one back. The jagged and sometimes failing um, piston conveyor. So bit disappointing but um what you're gonna do so that's the basic conveyor and there is one more conveyor um I'll try to get it here but more than likely we'll have to jump over to Blue World to see this and uh, I know this is breaking a kind of unbroken rule but it's the season finale and I'm gonna do whatever I want so let's jump over there so a redstoning with Steve special and this is a look at the best conveyor I've pretty much ever made and it's this beast and whew, it's a beast and incidentally this was actually based off an elevator design by Monkey Farm um, I tried making it just before in Redstone with Steve World uh, I could not get it to work um, I had some issues with stuff powering so I'd have to look up a proper tutorial uh, to get that to work so I'm not going to not going to bore you with that today guys, but I will show you the logistics of this. <sighs> um, it doesn't currently work. I believe it will work about halfway. You have to do that uh, bug fix. It just changes the hitbox of the piston. Uh, I believe it probably work about halfway and then stop. That's, that's what usually happens. You have to get right up here. And you can see this is super fast. Usually, yeah, it stops there. Uh, I may have a, a dud repeater in there somewhere, no doubt. Um, and I've mucked up the wall too. Uh, but um, I'll see if I can try and explain it. If I break out the back wall here. So we have the button, which goes to nothing. It goes up here. And this block is actually the first piston. So that's the first piston that pushes us there. And it comes. the signal comes up here, travels around, and I believe it grabs the other piston there. And it goes this, and this goes along here, and provides 2, 4, 2, 4. Alright. Fair enough. So, that one's going at 4. This one, and I'll probably need to break out that. 
and there's another splitting of the signal and it comes to a 2 1 so this one's 4 this one's 2 this one goes 2 delay there this one is 4 4 and 2 to there and what is actually un under here the pushing down piston so it's, it's a little hard to explain basically what hap what is happening is that the sticky a sticky piston will push you down and then the regular piston which is being powered from here will push you and it's wired up in a perfect repeater delay to do exactly that so basically what happens which one's the shortest delay let me let me check so these this block and this block are actually both because the block I just pointed out is under this repeater so we're actually pairing this twice and there is a reason for that it comes along here this is two delay to here and this activates our first sticky piston and then it comes along and you can see this is one but that's only because we can activate that block before it pushes down and it's actually more beneficial to have it push out just push and pull really fast as long as it pushes us the maximum distance so that's why that's a lower delay so it comes along here two one and this extra delay is because if we were to have just these two uh, the sticky piston would push down uh, this would go out and actually as it's coming back this would turn off and it would retract so it wouldn't actually retract the normal piston so this what this top bit does is it keeps it on for an extra uh, four torches uh, which is a bit of overkill I'm pretty sure but whatever uh, keeps on for four extra torches so it gives the normal piston enough time to re retract and then it pulls it back up again and this is the same uh, sort of concept as Monkey Farm's original design and if any of you watch uh, Static uh, he's building a very very similar uh, elevator in his world uh, so that's essentially what's going on here and you can see I've got four then two four four then two four so each one is sequenced one, one after the other and the other side is essentially the same except it's one torch offset so basically it'll go this one then this one then this one and then so one torch delay between this one and this one and this one and this one so it will effectively push us to the end and I've probably got a repeater wrong uh, one repeater wrong will throw this whole thing off so it's probably just one repeater uh, that's making me stop in the middle there so yeah pretty interesting um, I'll fire another arrow into there oh yeah and it'll yeah, again, it'll probably just stop halfway. I'm not sure if that is the piston bug or not. And occasionally it fails. And it's just, it's the same. You can see the ripple. And it's just, oh. Oh, no, that's just a rendering sort of thing. So it does suffer from the same glitch. So. Oh, no. Oh, well. So, yeah, guys, this was broken in 1.2. And that's a fact. So... Put, a, put piston behavior back to where it was in 1.1. So, I'll see you back in Red Sting with Steve Ford, guys. So that just about wraps up for this episode, guys. Uh, thank you for tuning into Steve's rant about piston... Um, sorry, I mean Red Sting with Steve, of course. <laughs> uh, but, um, yeah, season finale. Um, it was kind of a decision I made uh, just because I kind of want to take a break from doing these every week. Uh, n not a long break, just a short break, just to kind of get my my non YouTube life in order, my my real life. I did, don't worry, I still love you guys, but you know stuff has to come before YouTube, unfortunately. Um YouTube is more of a hobby for me and yeah, stuff has to come before it. So and just because I kinda wanna take this series in a different direction now and what I want to do kind of is have a look at other people's circuits and much more complicated circuits in season two um, and um, yeah take that and analyze it and break it down uh, just because I over the last couple of episodes I'm finding it hard to come up with stuff to do in these because yeah it's just really hard thinking of stuff to do so we're gonna look have a look at mostly other people's stuff maybe chuck in a few original stuff original inventions or some stuff if you don't want it and I'll have a new intro, new, very, very, it's going to be very polished when it comes back with season two. And, um, yeah, I know you guys will enjoy it. So, this, uh, thank you for tuning in to these first 17 episodes of season one. 
uh, thank you for all your support and you, I can assure you I will be back in a few weeks with Season 2. This is Steve, this has been Redstoning with Steve, Season 1, and I will catch you next time.